confirmed. Representative Steve Scalise is at the same hospital that took out Seth Rich. Everything points to Congressman Steve Scalise being quote-unquote Seth Riched, shot and then murdered in the hospital. APB, patriots need to saturate the internet with this message to deep state. The development situation regarding Steve Scalise is very serious. State of the Nation has watched with great concern the deterioration of Steve Scalise since he was admitted to the hospital in Washington, D.C. with a gunshot wound to the hip. The whole shooting incident revealed itself to be at least two things as follows. First, it was a very serious and personal warning to the third ranking member of the House leadership, Representative Steve Scalise of Louisiana. Secondly, it was meant to be a warning to every other member of Congress not to buck the deep state agenda. They all know exactly what that agenda is. Representative Scalise was a fierce patriot and a true conservative. His many signature causes show him to be the real deal and arch enemy of the rhinos. Not only was Scalise the highest ranking elected official from the Tea Party in the US, the US Congress, having attained the position of majority whip. He was also a no-nonsense kind of guy. You know how those real gusty Italian Americans can be when they latch onto a righteous cause. Well, that righteous cause that Steve has abdicated against is human trafficking. The following video portrays just how strong his advocacy is in this regard, which also happens to be the most radioactive issue throughout the nation in light of the Pizzagate scandal blowing wide open just before the election. The video is entitled, Is This Why Representative Steve Scalise Was Shot Today? Was the Berniak shooter really a programmed assassin from the CIA's MKUltra Monarch Mind Control Program? The mainstream media did somersaults to project the image of an ultra-liberal Trump-hating, left-wing nutcase for mass shooter James T. Hodgkinson. However, the MSM narrative is not stacking up with the most likely reality of the shooting spree. It happens that Hodgkinson went there to specifically shoot Scalise, the highest-ranking congressman on the ball field, and the preceding video clearly demonstrates why that is the case. It's because of Pizzagate. For those who are uninitiated with the realm of the most powerful control mechanism that Deep State has, it is known as Pedogate. There is no other means of threat or method of coercion that Deep State has at its disposal as effective as Pedogate. And everyone in Washington, D.C. knows it. Steve Scalise appears to have further opened this Pandora's box. The human trafficking legislation that he was pushing is by far the most uncompromising and severe ever to have been floated in the U.S. Congress. Congressman Scalise being set up to be Seth Riched, shot and then murdered in the hospital. Jim Stone reports. The following is going to have to stay top posted until tomorrow because it is very important. Confirmed. Scalise is at the same hospital that took out Seth Rich. Here is the confirmed information and many are looking for. As it turns out, I had this and did not think of it until now. Scalise is confirmed to be at the Washington Hospital Center. And guess what? The doctor who blew the whistle on the Seth Rich murder was at the Hospital Washington Center. It's important to keep my eight points proving Scalise is in the process of a staged murder being done at the hospital on top of this page, so I am going to link proof rather than consume the top of the page by posting it directly here. Here is a report confirming near the top of it that Scalise is at the Washington Hospital Center and here is the doctor's testimony that Seth Rich was murdered at the same Washington Hospital Center. You can see that you can, uh, they're in the blue uh, letters in the uh, article. You can click on that to see the uh, confirmations. So this cinches it. The Washington Hospital Center appears to be where people go when they are supposed to die. Eight good reasons to be suspicious of the shooting in D.C. I am highly suspicious of this, and I believe this was done by a programmed patsy 
who was handed military hardware and that the hospital is finishing the job, and here's why. Number one. First of all, the early report said the guy used a handgun and a military issued M4 carbine. Now this was morphed into other guns that better match the storyline that will lead to the death of Scalise. But make no mistake, early on it was a military issue M4 carbine, a controlled item, and they can't change their story with such an obvious item, period. Number two. Right from minute one, the media was claiming one congressman down, 216 to go. And they weren't rejoicing, but it was impossible to say that because early on there were multiple people shot and they would not have known how many congressmen were actually shot, let alone that one would die, thus leaving the number to 216 to go. The only thing that makes sense is that, as far as I see it, that they knew for sure one would die and the only way they'd be sure of that is if they knew someone in the hospital was there to finish the job. From there, they'll fabricate any storyline that fits. Number three. Here we have a Patsy who was living a perfectly normal life, then suddenly worked out, wonked out, and said living, started living in his van for two months with no one knowing where he vanished to, and suddenly he surfaces and does this. That's fishy, folks, and it fits with the CIA or some other Rothschild Soros owned entity successfully drugging this guy, tripping him out, made him malfunction while he was out with the van, and then programmed him for this. The fact he did the shooting, as the first five minutes report says, with a military issue M4 carbine, would prove that he was providing his provided his weapon by someone beyond the ordinary. Who would be that? Who would that be? Well, you guess. Number four, the guy was an awful shot. From this perspective, it could not have gone better. With the gun this guy had, Hillbilly Joe or even Six Pack Bob, who might have a gun or two of that type, would have accomplished 25 headshots with 25 bullets fired. All the shots were within 50 yards. That's too easy for a shot for anyone who knew anything about guns at all to miss even once with a gun as good as even the worst assault rifle, including the SKS. How could you get such an awful shot? Answer? With a programmed Patsy who knew nothing about guns that you suddenly abducted and mind wiped for the job. That sure fits, quote, vanished with the van for two months, and quote, only to suddenly surface with this. Number five. Scalise showed up at the hospital in fair condition. This was reported so widely that even Politico reported that he was in good spirits and called his wife before the surgery. Suddenly, after the surgery, he skipped right over a serious condition, straight to critical condition, and the hospital started lying, saying he was in shock and delirious and in critical condition before he went into surgery, even after liberal crap outlets like Politico reported he was fine. This is the biggest key indicator that he was sent to a particular hospital to die. They need their cover story for his death. They can't say he was cheerful when he went into surgery after they intentionally botched it. Calling the wife in a cheerful mood simply won't do, even if the worst liberal rags reported that. Number six, very suspicious. Now the media is trying to scramble the storyline about the gun used to try to explain the details on the ground. They are sort of leaning towards the SKS, which might have a solid bullet deflect off the hip and cause serious internal injury. At the same time, it explains why he was such an awful shot. But the SKS is not that bad. Inside of 100 yards, it is accurate enough to not make a difference, and all shots were close. And they botched it early on by saying it was an M4 carbine, so the SKS storyline is a blunder. Number seven. Okay, so let's say somehow our Patsy got ahead of a not military issued .223, which is the caliber of an M4 carbine, and he had a knockoff. It would still be identical to the military version when it hits something. What happens when you hit a hip with that? Well, nothing should really happen. The bullet is designed to fragment in soft tissue and make a huge mess. 
but if it hits something like solid, solid like a hip, it ought to do significant damage at that point, but stop there. They therefore want the story morphed over so, uh, so to it being an AK or an SKS, because that round penetrates better without fragmenting and should fit the storyline of Scalise showing up all cheery and then dying because a bullet deflected into vital organs. I guess a 223 might do that too, but if you get a bad hit with a 223, you will not feel cheery and call the wife, period. The only way he'd be cheery after getting hit with a 223 is if it was neutralized when it hit the hip bone and spread nowhere from that. So if he was reported as cheery before going to surgery, that would be what happened. And there would be zero chance of reducing a critical condition just because someone dug around in your hip. So we're watching a story about the gun used twist and turn to fit whatever happened when a doctor intentionally bought the surgery to reduce Calice from fair condition to critical. SKS, it will be then. Trump may have figured this out. He's not stupid. So he sent his best White House doctor. And what happened next? Eight. Number eight. CNN and all the other liberal media outlets flipped out and started trashing Trump for sending that doctor, who would obviously be outside of the control loop of a calculated hospital murder. That would mean key people at CNN and other liberal outlet outlets knew there was a murder in progress and were pissed at Trump that Trump found a way to interfere with it. Will Scalise make it? Only time will tell if the doctor Trump sent will be good enough to see the obvious and get Scalise back away from critical condition. If Scalise dies, he was Seth Riched, pure and simple, and that is my final answer. The hospital Scalise is in is lying and setting up his death. This is super easy to prove. Here is what the hospital said at 8.30 p.m. Congressman Steve Scalise sustained a single rifle shot to the left hip. The bullet traveled across his pelvis, fracturing bones, internal and, uh, uh, injuring internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. He was transported in shock to MedStar Washington Hospital Center, a level one trauma center. He underwent immediate surgery and an additional procedure to stop bleeding. He has received multiple units of blood transfusion. His condition is critical and he will require additional operations. Additional operations. We will provide periodic up updates. My response. The statement is a lie, and there is a cold hard proof of that. If you are in shock, you are not in good spirits. No, you are completely dazed and have lost color and are delirious and probably hallucinating. I can prove the hospital statement is a lie because Politico reported this, quote, Prior to entering surgery, the whip was in good spirits and spoke to his wife by phone, end quote. This is what Political stated, and now he's on his deathbed? How is that? Scalise was definitely being Seth Riched. Scalise entered the hospital in fair condition. Fair condition means you can be missing an arm and a leg or have some other horrible injury, but your vital signs read completely normal. Scalise had perf perfectly normal vital signs when he entered the hospital. Then he leapfrogged right over a serious condition where the vital signs are no longer normal, to critical condition where the vital signs indicate you might die. Folks, that can happen in today's world. You don't go in from fair condition to critical condition unless something causes it. Trump responded to this by sending his own White House doctor to oversee Scalise. And what happened then? CNN and other commies news outlets flipped out and started shredding Trump for sending a doctor he trusts to oversee Scalise. It does not take a huge brain to figure out why. Here's why. If Scalise went from fair to critical condition, someone who wanted him dead caused it, just like Seth Rich. And someone at CNN knows the plot, and that Scalise was sent to that hospital to die. And now, because Trump sent a doctor that is not there to kill Scalise, CNN can handle it and is whining and moaning about it. And if Scalise died, there would be a real doctor right there to say it was caused by foul play. I believe Scalise was sabotaged during the surgery, which was botched on purpose to kill him. 
that's the only way digging a bullet out of the hip is going to put someone who was perfectly stable and in fair condition into critical condition. You can't go from fair condition to critical condition like that. It just does not happen. He's being Seth Riched. No ifs or buts. Scalise is a good guy. He was one of us. So let's hope Trump's appointed appointment of the trustworthy doctor saved him. This is on State of the Nation. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you want to uh, see the links and confirm that it, he is actually at that hospital and it is that same hospital that uh, received Seth Rich and where Seth Rich lost his life. This is on State of the Nation. Thank you.